Hello, Joel Tavern here from Golf Monthly, and today we're reviewing the new Wilson Star C300 and C300 forged irons and to see how they compare in terms of performance. The big technology story with these two irons not only is the addition of a forged model for perhaps a slightly lower handicap, but the fact that the Wilson have taken the power holes we saw on the C200 iron, which is a really impressive iron, it really suited a lot of different playing styles. But we see on the bottom here we've got double row of power holes. Now we know these power holes minimise the contact points between the face and the body, it allows the face to flex a little bit more and give you more distance, uh, but Wilson have essentially accentuated this feature and allowed it to be more effective in creating ball speed across the face. So in the two different models we've got the C300 which has the double row of power holes on the bottom, you can see they extend all the way around the toe and even onto the top line as well, so you, you should expect more distance from this club because it has power holes all the way around, essentially going to give you more flexing for more ball speed compared to the new C300 forged eye, which only has the power holes on the bottom and a couple towards the toe. There's none on the top line to give a cleaner look at a dress. It's obviously more compact iron, you know, less offset, thinner top line, a cleaner looking iron. It's forged as well, so it should give you a slightly softer feel. That softer feel is helped by the fact that both of these irons have the holes filled with a urethane type material which should dampen the vibration slightly, give you a softer feel as well. So uh, interesting to test both of these irons out. If I was leaning towards one over the other, I'd say the Wilson C300 Forge is more uh, my cup of tea. It's more of a classic look, a cleaner look down by the ball, fairly compact, still relatively inviting to hit, whereas the C300, while the C stands for crossover, so it's kind of in between a distant side and a, a better player iron, I would say that the C300 is more of a distance club, it's got a bit more offset, it's a larger looking profile, it's going to instill more confidence perhaps for the mid to high handicapper who focuses more on distance. But we hit them both on the GC2 launch monitor at Foresight Sports HQ. It was really interesting to see what numbers we got, so let's dive into the data and see how they performed. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, because the C300 iron has more power holes extending all the way around to the top line, you probably expect more distance from that club compared to the C300 forwards, even though they both have 7 iron lofts of 31 degrees. Actually, one testing noticed that the stock shaft length is slightly longer on the C300, which is another reason why you would expect more distance from that club. And as we can see from the data, I definitely experienced that. Looking at, first of all, ball speed, I got 5 mile an hour more ball speed on the C300 7 iron than I did the C300 forged. Launch angle is pretty similar, lower spin with the C300 as well, a slightly higher ball flight and a much longer average carry, 180 yards compared to 167 with the C300 Ford. So like I mentioned before, the C300 does look more like a distance iron, it's clearly delivering on that. Excellent distance if you're looking for more distance from your irons, if you tend to uh, misstrike your clubs, your iron shots a lot, this is perhaps the way to go. I like the control the C300 Forge gives you, it definitely provides a softer feel, more dampened vibration, just generally more of a player's club compared to the C300 iron. You see here the distances are very consistent with this club. Nice kind of mid-flight, 36 yards peaking. Spin is high, which I quite like, it's going to give you perhaps more stopping power into greens. You know, I think they, they definitely appeal to two different players. The C300 is for out and out distance. I think it's definitely going to deliver that for a lot of different golfers, perhaps slower swing speeds who need a little bit more help, whereas the C300 forged iron is perhaps more for people who don't need help with swing speed or distance. They want a bit more control. They want a softer feeling iron. Perhaps a little bit of distance thrown in. Obviously, having a seven iron loft of 31 degrees is pretty strong. So. Uh, I was actually expecting to get more distance from the C300 Forge, but I'm quite glad that it didn't because I think if it went any further that would be too far for me. But average carry of 167 in an indoor environment, GC2 data, you know, that's not too far for me. I could definitely play that out on the golf course. Did hit them out on the range as well, it was noticeable how much higher the C300 went. But generally speaking, a very impressive both. The C300 definitely offers more forgiveness than the C300 Forge, but the forgiveness levels were pretty high with with both of them actually. The dispersion levels are pretty tight. It's actually quite easy to hit straight and accurate shots with these clubs. So there you have it. Two different offerings from Wilson within that crossover category. C300 is going to give you more distance, more forgiveness. The C300 forged does feel a little bit softer. I wouldn't say it feels as soft as a lot of better player irons out there. Even though it's forged, it did offer a fairly loud sound impact.
perhaps didn't feel as lively and springy off the face as the C300. It felt really hot actually, that C300 club off the face. I think if you're looking for visible technology, if you're not worried about traditional looks, the C300 is going to give you the distance that you're looking for. Whereas if you're more of a traditionalist, you like a proper looking iron, the C300 Forge is going to look the part and also give you the distance consistency that you're looking for.